feel like he will not tell us anyway. Don't you agree? Wait, if this is the crow, he doesn't have a brain. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand it either. Like, he's uh... smart. Maybe it's the other way around, but it doesn't make sense for the Tin Man. But I f definitely feel like the lion vibe from the blonde one, you know? Someone who lacks courage? No, but lie, he looks like a lion, you know? Like yeah, he has the teeth. His teeth are like little things. Um, uh, do you ever rest? Do you ever rest? Don't worry, I get plenty of rest. Oh. Does it not seem that way? No. Naturally, I'm not exactly about to lay myself bare in front of a guest. I'm rather shy after all. He flashed her a playful smile, but then waved her away. As I would like to rest as soon as possible, would you care to leave this, the room? I intend to take a break once I finish dealing with these documents. I can't exactly get any work done with you here. Oh, okay, Mr. Kitty. Thank you. I hope your work goes smoothly. Thank you very much. Damn it. Yes, <laughs> he's so boring. He's like, can you please go? Go. Should we not just meet someone else? Like, this guy's like... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but like he's gonna be interesting. Oh maybe we meet him now. Oh I'm sorry for making you come out with me on your precious Sunday. Oh no my Why is it Sunday again? I think the day just the week just completely passed by. Wow. Oh, no. I'm I'm happy you invited me. Mr. Kitty, you're really busy on weekdays, aren't you? Like probably if we want to meet him it's only going to be on Sundays because he's like Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'm not so busy that I'm about to kneel over, of course. It's not like you're completely unrelated to how busy I am. I have to stifle my own interest and do my job. You understand, don't you? Yes. Good. It's already been three weeks since we met. How are you finding your stay? Oh, it's already been th three weeks. I follow it more like three days. <laughs> It's pleasant, it's the best one. Or maybe it's boring. Let's say it's boring. Let's, like, he will live it up, you know? It, nothing's happened. Let's, it's boring. He takes it to a fucking casino. No, legit. This is such a good one. Okay. It's boring. Every day is so peaceful. It's getting a little boring. Looking for a little excitement in your life? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you're all working so hard every day to preserve the peace here, and I'm, I'm sorry for being so inconsiderate. Oh no, I'm happy you're being so honest with me. Just between us, I'm a little bored of the situation too. Okay, high five to you. <laughs> you are? I am. It's hard not to be bored when every day is the same. Uh, it's the same. That's also why the presence of an irregular such as yourself is so precious. I wish I could abandon my work and spend the whole day observing you. Yeah, naked. <laughs> different as he touched his hand to her cheek. Mr. Kitty? Yes, what is it? What is this? I mean, your hand <laughs> on oh, my you'd knee. Rather... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd rather I touch you barehanded. Very well. Kitty brought his hand to his mouth and pulled off his glove with his teeth. I, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, so touching isn't enough? What an audacious request to make in such a public space in the middle of the day. N no! It seemed like the more she spoke, the more he misunderstood. Uh, how should I explain this? He smiled at her, who was vis who was visibly at a at a complete loss. Don't worry, I know exactly what you meant. Huh? I'm actually pretty sharp when it comes to conversation. I just wanted to mess with you. Uh, mess with me? I see you can't help teasing girls. Uh, you see, I just can't help teasing girls. I like, and even those I don't. That was just a little taste just now. Uh, you should prepare yourself. Uh, okay. Well, enough of this idle chit-chat. Shall we be going? Uh, where are we going? Let's keep that a surprise. Woo! I don't know, the only thing that's fun about these games is your decisions. Like, just <laughs> random-ass chat about nothing isn't really fun. This place. Been here before? No, never. I had no idea... This place existed. This place? <laughs> what? I, I have no fucking clue what this is. 
<laughs> How unkind of Karami and Axel not to only give you your bits and pieces of information. This is Oscar Wilde Street. Like the main plaza and the clinic, it's an unaffiliated area. You're free to come here. However, the members of Familia Oz tend to avoid it. Why? Good question. Perhaps because it's a place for adult socialization. Adult? That building over there is a church. It's not locked, so you can confess your sins whenever you feel so inclined. And this? Good afternoon, Lord Kyrie. Kiri. What is a man boy? I think it's a prostitute. Oh, my, did you come just to see us? What is it, man? I just happened to see you out here. Is this woman the one you spoke of before? Indeed she is. I would feel just awful if I didn't show her around every corner of town. Well, I do not believe she needs to know absolutely everything, particularly this area. I must apologize for taking so long to introduce myself. I am Manboy, the Oscar Wilde Saloon's concierge. I'm Fuka. Familia Oz has been taking care of me. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh no, the pleasure is all mine, Lady Fuka. Salon, huh? A saloon, huh? <laughs> I have not said anything false. Yes, that is true. Let's leave it at that. Fuka looked back and forth between the contrary expressions. Kitty smiled at her confused conscience. Manboy here is very well acquainted with this particular area. If you want to know anything, you should ask him. Lord Kiri, I thought you hadn't said anything false. Yes, that is true. Are you just showing her around today? I cannot imagine which, uh, you would bring a lady Fuka along with you inside. Oh no, it's too soon for her much too soon for her soon what do you mean good question what do you think my boy oh well I, i'm here M mr axel she turned around and axel approached he seemed to be in quite a sour mood shotgun in hand oh are you sure you're not early don't be ridiculous i'm right on time May I bring the house guest back home? Yes, that will do. Excuse me, Miss Fuka. I have some work to attend to at, at this saloon, at saloon right now. Even though it's Sunday? Yes, no rest for the consulier, after all. Liar. What? Did you say something, Axel? Is he just gonna go fuck a prostitute? Is that like the, the right vibe I'm getting here? I'm not sure. No, let's just go guest. Axel started walking without waiting for her to respond. Oh, okay. She paused to turn around and wait before she heard after Axel. Um, goodbye, Mr. Kitty. Good, Mr. Manboy. Kitty gave her a little wave, keeping <sighs> his hand close to his chest. Manboy sighed and began to speak. What are you thinking, bringing a girl that age to a place like this? And I could ask you what you're thinking, speaking ill of your workplace like that. She might even end up becoming a customer, you know? My word, you intend to bring her again? Oh no, I'll let her curiosity take care of that. Miss Fuka is an irregular presence, so I can't even begin to imagine what future she will choose. Look forward to it, mad boy. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. Was that a prostitute? Or like, remember when we played the other one, Tokyo or whatever? Like the guy that was over the prostitutes? Could be like that also. Yeah, but what is, what is that? Like what is Kitty doing there, you know? <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. Exactly. He, he likes to gamble. Maybe it's like a <laughs> gambling prostitutes, a saloon, a saloon, you know? Saloon is where you can do all that shit, so. I wonder where we're going. If they were returning to the Oz Mansion, surely they would have just taken the red brick road. Yet, the road they were walking along was paved with bricks of emerald, not red. Mr. Axel sure walks fast. He smoothly slipped through the crowds, not paying any mind to her chasing after him. We'll be separated at this rate. Mr. Axel, please wait. Uh, she smacked into Axel's back. 
She looked up at him, pouting as she clutched her nose. What? That's my line. Why did you stop so suddenly? Weren't you the one who asked me to wait? I, I did say that. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> She's so stupid. <laughs> Axel gaze shifted from Fuku to his right hand. He didn't say a word. He just stared at it. What's wrong? Nothing. I can hear your footsteps. I won't leave you behind. Let's go. Okay. Oh, it kind of seems like you slowed down a little. It's Mr. Axel trying to match my pace. At the end of the Emerald Brick Road was a street not unlike those in the Oz territory. The houses had gently curving roofs. The smell of baked sweets hung in the air. I'm sure this must be another familiar territory, but... It's gonna be like Hansel and Gretel one. It's Sunday, so it must be okay to be here, right? Found it. Huh? Those two were... Get your double trouble biscuit while they're hot. Hansel was standing in the middle of the street, energ energetically patting his wares. An orange carpet casually covered with bakes, bags of baked sweets was spread out at one corner of the street. Behind the sacks sat Gretel, who unlike Hansel, had a sour, decidedly unwelcoming expression unbecoming of a salesperson on her face. They're the Grim Familia's copy games. Hansel and Gretel, do you remember them? Yes, I learned their names at the meeting. Axel nodded slightly and approached Hansel. Fuku followed. Oh, if it isn't Al Axel. Gretel hastily stood up and hurried behind Hansel, clinging to his back. She glared at Axel and Fuku from behind her yellow cupboard. What, what do you, do you want, want, bro? Oh. What do you oh, want, it's Gretel. robot? My name is Axel. He's a robot. Oh, trust me, robot. I know. Why'd you come here with that little girl? L little girl? Hansel, isn't this girl that one was sitting between the sleepy head and the trickster? That's... That's the one, Gretel. Well, if it isn't the little girl, what do you want with us, Grims? It's in for a fight. I'll take you up on that if you want. If it was a fight they were after, they would have come with more people, right? Which means... It's an ambush! Oh, I know. A date then. N no. Then it's an ambush, clearly. Hansel, prepare to counterattack. Oh, we're gonna blow them up. 